Every once in a while, someone will ask me at the Carson show. Who cares? It was 22 years ago. Here's Joan River. I actually care because you were I one of the, the first <laughs> women on late night television. I was. You were a pioneer in that respect. And the in only many reason other I, respects, but that. No, 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 it's very sweet. And uh, I was, and the only reason I say this is because there's some bitch that's trying to say she was. I was the first <laughs> woman in late night first woman to have her own successful late night show and uh, I'm not mentioning names but uh, I'm very angry about that. Why is that so important? Because um, probably of everything that I've done and I didn't realize at the time it was a big breakthrough. Looking back you go wow and I'm always being asked what do you think about women in late night and I always say the same thing if you're right for late night you're gonna be in light, late night. It's nothing to do about your sex. Mm -hmm. But I was the first major. I was the first woman in late night. It's the Late Show, starring Joan Rivers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Joan Rivers. How hard was that? Well, I never think anything is hard. I think you know, I'm so busy working that I don't. I, I'm not one that whines. Or, well, they don't like me because I'm a woman. It was very hard because um, the original point was uh, that I did one week out of six for Johnny because he could take over. So they would save all the good guests for Johnny. So I had to go out and get every guest myself. So I was doing the booking. I understand. And I do my own. See, you know what I'm talking yeah. That's a lot of you calling up and you going after But what's them. the advantage to that? None. <laughs> a lot. I remember B. Arthur, who was then on um, Golden Girls. Okay. And she was number one in the country. And I had to go to her house. And she was a drunk. Wonderful woman. Major. Oh Major Sosso. <laughs> and I had to have two dinners with her and a lunch to get her to come on the Tonight Show with me and drink right where my husband said, you know, I'd come back in the car. I, said, I think we got her. <laughs> and you got her, and not only that, but you, you got great numbers. Uh, yeah. Right now, Jay is struggling yeah. to keep Deserve his. Deserve to. And, and Deserve to what struggle. do you think of that whole debacle? I think he's bored, and I think, you know, when you get, and you remember this because you're still rising, sweetheart. When you get your show, enjoy your show and be grateful. Never think you deserve it or that you're better than your guests. Johnny Carson, the day he died, was a fan. Somebody would come on, he'd be so excited they were there. Yeah. And you felt it. Jimmy Fallon has that. Uh, Leno is, I'm Leno and you're not. And I, I never watch him because of that. It's, it's an arrogance. It, so there is a point where you can acquire so much financially. You can be famous. You can do all of these things and, and lose that connection with your guests and with your it's audience. It's over. It's over. You have How have to. you kept from, from that happening Because to you? I'm always being fired. I'm always being... <laughs> <laughs> I've never had, I've never had a, a show that really... <laughs> Uh, I was always in 13-week increments. I've never had, no one ever gave me a contract for five years, ever in my whole career. Now with Fashion Police, uh, they've given me a year on E. And I said to Melissa, I got a year's contract. This is amazing. So many of our people are young people who want to be brands themselves. How do you do it? Just do it. I know it sounds, do well, my best advice, which I do, go through any door. Well, that was an anti-Semitic joke. If anything, it's an anti-Nazi German joke. So already the wrong group got angry.